Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the final part of WrestleMania, part 6. Coming up next, the main event. It is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Two former DX teammates set to collide for the title, Shawn Michaels versus Triple H. And we're going to take a look back at how this whole thing got started. Triple H and Shawn Michaels, they're, they're closer than a lot of brothers. They know what they've been through, we know what they've been through, but why? Why did he do it? Triple H turns his back on Shawn Michaels, all in the name of the world title. This relationship has just taken a turn for the worse. DX is no more. All that's on their minds is the World Heavyweight Championship. I solved the problem when I pedigreed your ass. One of us came here tonight to fight. After everything I've been through for you, you couldn't do this one thing for me. I am going to assume that I've already got it from everybody because I've earned it. When it was time for somebody else to shine, And here we go, Shawn Michaels in the game, beating each other up here, all of the emotion, all of the drama, coming out right now, live. These two men were closer than a lot of brothers, and now they fight for what they believe in, that being the World Championship. The game has passed you by. Nobody tells Shawn Michaels what to do. And you can accept your role. It's not gonna happen until after I've knocked your head off. They will go one-on-one -on -one at WrestleMania. Triple H versus Shawn Michaels for the World Heavyweight Championship. There have been many great matches here tonight on the WrestleMania card, but the one upcoming may be the best of them all. They have such a bar to raise, and it's not going to be easy, but it can be done. This match is for the World Championship, and it is between two former friends turned foes. About to make his way to the ring, the man who won the Royal Rumble back in November. That man, the game Triple H, entered at number 30 and won the whole thing. Since then, he's had a rocky road to WrestleMania, defeated Undertaker with help from Sting at Retribution, and then, following Shawn Michaels' successful title defense against Cena, betrayed Shawn Michaels in a DX reunion, and that is where we go to tonight. Two former DX teammates set to collide in the main stage of WrestleMania, for the World Heavyweight Championship. He looks prepared, he looks ready, and it doesn't surprise me one bit. He looks at the WrestleMania sign for inspiration and there you see him in the middle of the ring. He is ready. Are you ready for what could be one of the most personal matches in NLW history? And you gotta wonder and take into account how Shawn Michaels is feeling after he had his head driven for a car window past episode but he is here tonight and he is here to defend his world title like he always does and you hear the reception the crowd is given for this guy the heartbreak kid Shawn Michaels about to make his way to the ring and there he is to a thunderous ovation the world heavyweight champion Shawn Michaels it was at retribution where he won that title in an extreme rules match against Cena and he is live here tonight to defend that against his former friend in Triple H. They have teamed together as D-Generation X several times over the years. But tonight they are not teammates. They are enemies. We don't know what's going through their minds but I can only imagine. Shawn Michaels set to defend the world title at WrestleMania. He definitely deserves it. He's worked his ass off for this company. 
Triple H on the other hand he is the cerebral assassin and he will win at any cost there is the title that's on the line as they look into each other's eyes as this matchup gets underway the main event of Wrestlemania for the World Heavyweight Championship Triple H back in HBK into the corner and now going to deliver a shot to the face this is incredibly personal as Triple H delivering the brawling tactics by the game early on and now HBK with a slap but again goes back on the headlock and this could be very technical from Shawn Michaels end of the spectrum but then again Triple H is a great technical wrestler as well as you see now the strength of Michaels and Triple H and again a knee drop right to the head and he may have broken his nose with that drop on the knee and now gets back onto HBK and flings him so hard into the turnbuckle that he actually falls to the floor Triple H this is his first taste of a title shot he earned the right to have this matchup after winning the Royal Rumble way back in November since those many months ago he's wanted to get to this position and you see Michaels reversing grabs a leg and a Russian leg sweep it looked as if a variation of it and here's a cover but a kick out by the game and right back on the headlock is Shawn Michaels very crafty is HBK in this early part of the matchup as he's shoulder brought down to the floor and now Triple H runs along the ropes and a drop kick by HBK Michaels is very athletic as we've seen and a drop kick to the game in the back another kick and you gotta wonder what's going through his mind the world champion current world champion rolls through again and again they're back on their feet but HBK with a hard really hard slap to the chest and now he's in the headlock in an arm eye, a bridge what a bridge executed perfectly by Michaels but punches him in the stomach and gets out of it very technical early on but that was bringing you back to the brawling style that the game possesses Triple H with a hard clothesline now and going after Michaels and a knee to the face highly race like knee to the face of Michaels and now another punch by HBK going after the game and a clothesline over to the ropes now he's on the floor and that's not where you want to be only way to win this for Triple H is by pinfall or submission HBK doesn't have to be disqualified to lose the title and what a hurricane run of DDT jumping DDT onto the floor the hard concrete not a lot of give there and again elbow right in the bridge of the back in the lower back region of the game and now again that lower back driven into the ring apron that is not where you want to be especially if you Triple H if he cannot use his lower back it's not very gonna go very well look on the top moonsault by the HBK Shawn Michaels what a moonsault from the top rope comes colliding right with Triple H the game is still on the floor as Michaels even has time to pose great agility by HBK so high up and this was the first of those two maneuvers the jump in DDT and then from the top rope that's one for the Wrestlemania highlight reel right there moonsault from the top rope down to the concrete below now he's once again on the top rope but Triple H manages to stop him in his tracks before anything can happen dragging him away now and now gonna work on that arm and there you see drives it back into the mat that is what Triple H has got to do to work on a body part he's gonna try and attempt to do that but he's caught out by HBK goes flying right outside and now he's gonna go after him but a punch by Triple H and now gonna drag him onto that ring apron what the hell do you think is going through the cerebral assassin's mind oh my god what a neck breaker on the hardest part of the ring here's a cover and a kick out by Michaels surprising that he kicked out considering how hard that is the side of the ring apron the hardest part of the ring and oh what agility by Triple H but reversed again and now Michaels with the German suplex to the game technically sound is our world champion has been on top since January when he won the title at Retribution since then has defended it successfully before but perhaps tonight is his biggest challenge 
in his former teammate Triple H who's going after Michaels at the moment but a roll through here's a sunset flip here's a cover by Michaels and again a kick out by Triple H Helmsley as he goes up against the corner turnbuckle he's well he was in trouble manages to charge that one and, oh, and again close eye in the head off of his shoulders Shawn Michaels cannot get too complacent in this matchup otherwise it's not going to go well for him and look at this face first into the canvas and that may have winded him severely measuring him now this may not be good crowd senses it is he going to go for the pedigree already but again now look at Michaels rolling through it again and a kick out by Triple H great reversal there and a drop kick to Triple H to the lower back again now Michaels wants to go to the top rope going to go for all the glory doesn't look good but again reversed and is it a cross face is it a cross face by Triple H can't quite get the hand locked under the chin and here's a cover again by HBK and here's a cross face here's a cross face by Michaels wrenching on the head and neck but he gets to the ropes and he's near them luckily and wisely for him that was basic instinct and what a drop kick to the face of Triple H geez goes flying to the outside and now Michael's gonna go for a dive but Triple H moves out of the way crowd not happy but Triple H wisely move him possibly out of basic instinct and now he's back in the ring again but he's dragged away and oh my and now HBK gonna work on those legs with the figure four leg lock vintage Shawn Michaels now learn that from the legendary nature boy Ric Flair the leg lock the figure four and now Triple H is almost fading but he's gonna try and reverse the pressure and he does reverses the pressure on HBK and he is forced to get back out of that one and now Michaels again gonna go after that leg hacking him out at the bottom back up again now and Michael's gonna go after that leg some more but rolls over miscalculated that one goes too far over the top rope and now Triple H goes right after him again sends him off the steel ring steps Michaels has to be wary of this because he's on the outside now and this is where the cerebral assassin thrives where the hell is he putting Michaels now climbing that structure there that's been replastered several times tonight and oh my is it going to be a pedigree on that on that structure there doesn't look like good oh my and he's thrown off of the top and now Michaels can capitalize on this and now gonna go after him now very quick from Michaels the suck it taunt well Triple H deserves it after all he's done to Michaels especially after driving his head for a car window this past week Michaels on the top but caught out and a spine buster from the game here's the cover roll through and a kick out by HBK great from Triple H oh my are we gonna see a pedigree on ready right here and reversed again by Michaels here's the cover almost catches him out and again is he gonna go for the pedigree but Michaels stops it and plants him face first into the mat that just goes to show how out of nowhere Triple H can possibly get on the pedigree and now a series of slaps to the chest vicious chops and now again oh my is Michaels gonna go for the pedigree gonna put him away with his own signature move but throws him to the floor Michaels oh my I was about to say could get back into this but he's thrown right into that ring post and suplex by the game trained in part by the nature boy Ric Flair is the game he is a very crafty individual some have called him overrated in the past but he continues to do his thing and whether or not he is overrated he's doing well at the moment well I was about to say he was doing well kicked in the face while HBK was in that trio whoa, and dives at him double elbow diving elbow and now a kick up by Shawn Michaels heartbreak kid up now again and grabs him from behind this don't look good and another German suplex to Triple H now the game is in trouble he's lying flat 
looking up into the heavens don't like the looks of this Michael's on the top rope again but again Triple H prevents anything from happening now he's climbed and look at him looking over there to the world title that is what this match is for and a suplex from the top rope superplex here's the cover but another kick out by Triple H sorry by Shawn Michaels Triple H is the one in control at the moment and now oh, we went for the switching music while the game wasn't looking but he got a DDT instead now he's back up and goes for the clothesline again but Triple H rolls over and look at this oh my god did you see the way that HBK's neck snapped against the mat the way he just got flung in midair with that German suplex by Triple H anything you can do I can do better is the motto at the moment the game went for the elbow went for the Shawn Michaels elbow and an attempt to copy and emulate Michaels turned into a laughing stock now HBK has the chance to gain some valuable momentum as Sean builds momentum right now HBK slams him down onto the mat and this don't look good for the game now he's looking into the heavens and here's the elbow vintage of HBK the heartbreak kid gonna make it to his feet and this does not look good for the cerebral assassin look at him now Helmsley only just about makes it to his feet and Michaels tunes up the band this isn't good sweet shin music on our way perhaps but oh my now the game throws him into the corner turnbuckle and Michaels flips on his head and now again grabs him by the legs and catapulted into the turnbuckle again his neck and chest must be so sore after that series of maneuvers oh and he but Michaels managed to dodge that punch sweet shin music out of nowhere didn't even have a time to call that one oh and if he'd have stayed in the ring Michaels could have got the cover and won this but Triple H the forcefulness of that kick sent him to the outside now he's down and out lying up against those steel steps that sweet tune music still dazing him and another kick to the face right into the steel ring post goes Triple H and again off the announce table Shawn Michaels after the sweet chin music Triple H looks like he's out he's lying out flat out cold on that announce table Shawn Michaels oh my god what do you think he's doing now gonna dive at him but he moves and Shawn Michaels sent crashing and burning through that table Triple H moved out of the way had the wherewithal to do that but Shawn Michaels crashing and burning through the wood let's take a look at this again Michaels didn't have that one completely scouted he went straight through the announce table and now Triple H takes the opportunity to beat up Sean this does not look good I'm being honest right now a punch sends him down Michaels is dizzy on his feet he looks like he's out on his feet and another punch by Triple H he is beating him up here and he's shaking his head and now look at him the, wet, the audacity to tell him to stay down but Michaels tells him to bring it on and he does and a punch to the face of Triple H can Michaels get back into this but again spine buster didn't look too promising there but once again oh look at this invoking a negative reaction again the game is are we going to see a pedigree but again now Michaels reversing that one and catapults him into the turnbuckle Mir bought him some valuable time and the diving elbow and again Michaels kicks up can he get back into this one a second time it's so back and forth here in this Wrestlemania main event and an atomic drop atomic drop to Triple H and a punch sends him down now Michaels if he can get the momentum back on his court it's swinging at the moment and the elbow drop right down onto the heart and chest of Triple H he is in deep deep trouble as we all know Michaels is moments away from regaining the title retaining it and now you see this sweet chin music inbound tuning up the band 
Is it going to happen right now? But Armeyer punched to the stomach. Punched to the stomach by the game. And again has him by the head in the DDT. Both men down center of the ring. Triple H the first to make it to his feet. What an incredible matchup this is. And oh, good God. Flung right onto that top rope. Triple H has evil intentions as he always does. We're going to see a back suplex. But Michaels trying to reverse it. And he does. Cross body from the top. The leverage and the wherewithal of HBK to do that. And Michaels now has got to believe in himself. Punches times two. Are we going to see a second one? Oh my, but game with the pedigree. Pedigree by Triple H. And if he had got the cover right, then it would be over and we'd have a new champion. But alas, it wasn't to be that time. Doesn't know what he has to do. And another punch by Michaels. Triple H now. Oh, he's got to be wary. He's got to be wary. He can't be caught out, but he has. And now Michaels with the sharpshooter. Sharpshooter applied. Will Triple H tap out? Is Michaels going to retain his title? He sits back on it. But the game, luckily, near the ropes... And that was seriously lucky, but Michaels not wasting any time. Going to go for the switch in music. Oh my. But again, the game now with a pedigree. And oh my. Now is he going to go for some sort of net breaker? But Triple H again reverses in a pedigree. One, Here's the pedigree two, and the cover. And a kick out by Michaels. What more does he have to do? Michaels for a long period of this matchup was out on his feet the game what does he have to do sweet chin music out of nowhere oh my god and the game kicks out that is what the world heavyweight championship means to these men so much is at stake and both men know the risks but Michaels is going to take a final one is he Triple H not loopy with that sweet chin music but he's on the top now and look at this oh my god he's caught out he's caught out by Triple H in a pedigree One, from the top two, rope three. oh no no Triple H listen, listen to this crowd outright booze not a standing ovation whatsoever that is that is something the entire crowd the entire dome booing the game because because we got a new world champion it was a, a freak result if I'm honest with you Shawn Michaels throughout this matchup looked as if he was going to do it looked as if he was going to retain the title but we have a new world champion. The game was in control for some parts. The sharpshooter was, wasn't was enough and neither was this pedigree. The switch in music almost did it but it was this that really did the deed. Jumping from the top rope, got caught out and got pinned. One, two, three. Therefore your winner and new world champion Triple H. But throughout this night We've had some pretty epic results. Some um, all the fan favourites really have seemed to come out on top mo in the most part. But in this matchup, Triple H has made sure to end the party. He's put a sour end to this pay-per-view, and he couldn't be prouder. If I'm honest, I I honestly thought that Shawn Michaels deserved to win this more especially overcoming what Triple H has done over the past couple of weeks and the, I don't think it's set in completely yet you see the disappointment on his face I think he might feel he's let the fans down but to be honest the fans don't really care they're behind Shawn Michaels whatever world champion loss win or whatever 
but the fact of the matter remains is that the game is the new World Heavyweight Champion. He leaves this arena to a chorus of boos and he's just put a sour note on the end of this pay-per-view. He's trying to make sure the fans go home unhappy. And Michaels is back! Sweet chin music! Michaels is going to make sure the Triple H didn't forget this night for the wrong reasons. Triple H may be the new world champion, but Shawn Michaels makes sure that the game knows. He may have lost tonight, but he's still on his tail, and what a pay-per-view this has been.